Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse with Southern Reels and it is a beautiful morning here on the Chesapeake Bay. The sun just coming up in the background. That's our target today, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Southwest winds, it's a perfect opportunity to get out here and fish for some sheephead. Just excited to be going back out in the kayak. It's just better suited for this kind of fishing, honestly. So, the boat's been nice, don't get me wrong, I love my boat. I'm gonna get through these little bit of breakers coming in at it and go out here and fish for some, hopefully some monster sheephead today. But anyway, that's what's up, wish us luck. It's like breaking right here, but look, it ain't breaking nowhere else. We might have picked like the worst place to launch. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I love this. It's probably my favorite place to launch in the morning. Watch the sun come up. Nice calm days like part of today's gonna be. It's gonna get a little windy this afternoon. It was already right breezy out here this morning. It's right at slack tide right now, folks. So I'm just gonna rock probably like a two ounce. I'll just have a little single hook set up here. It's because I'm kind of low on fiddler crabs, at least till my buddy Jim gets out here. He's running late. So I'm just gonna offer them one at a time, which works just fine. Pretty much start here about the first channel and just drop them down behind some pilings. I don't know how long we got today with this wind. It's fairly breezy already, honestly. Got maybe a dozen crabs or so in here using this, these fiddlers here. Just pop the little claws off. Ow, you little booger. Yes, I deserve that. Ripping his arm off. I just like to go right into with the back legs, kind of curve it around like so. Just barely stick that point out the other side. I am excited to get to try the pen optics out here on the pylons. I mean, I do have it in my boat and I've experimented with it, but it, honestly, it's just way easier to use it on this thing because it's right here beside me. I can control it, fish and jig and stay right on the pylons. Just curious to see if it really shows these sheep hit or not, you know? What's up? Waiting for you. Let's go. Yeah, they just keep cleaning me out, man. Let's just go out farther. I've already fed them three crabs. All right, y'all, at this point, we're pretty much heading out to deeper water. They're actually up here ahead of me a little ways. I'm kind of taking my time and just working down these pylons and trying out this panoptics. And it's amazing because I can just cruise up, kind of scan them real quick from a distance. I mean, there's just fish all around these pylons. Haven't seen really any big marks for like sheephead yet. The big sheephead will be showing up pretty definitively as a giant round blob most likely. But I have seen some larger fish on the bottom and mid column that I've just passed over. Kind of curious what they might be. Maybe cobia, maybe some big blue fish. I really don't know mackerel man who knows all right folks i'm still just kind of working the sonar i'm seeing fish like around this pile in here i see fish at 20 and 25 feet the marks are kind of longer and more slender than i would expect a sheephead to show up of course i haven't ever caught one on her here yet so i'm not sure what they look like oh there we go i'm a sporty little guy Perfect eating size, too. Yeah. Man, I didn't break my hook. Oh, he's probably 20. Perfect eating size. It's just fine. That's really what I want is some eating. What'd you get? 23. But it's fat, though, already. Good. Look at that dude. Heck yeah. He's got scars on his side. I forgot my fish bag. I can take <laughs> Hey, you want to keep them? I can throw them in here. Huh? I'm only going to keep like a couple. I can keep them. Well, folks, we all got sheephead now, finally. I finally figured out what I was seeing around these pylons actually is sheephead. I was thinking they would be more round and short, but not really. They seem to be long and slender looking. All right, so 20 feet still showing marks. Got it? Hmm. That's that time. All right, time to get away from the pound. I'm gonna get in the kite. There you go. Little guy. I'm gonna let this one go. Hey, buddy. All right, y'all, scanning along along here. I got a bunch of marks on this one at 25 feet. So we rolled up. We got five foot there. Five. Thumb it out. 10. 
15, 20. Let us sit there for a second. And then we go that last five foot real slow. Right in the middle of them. Ugh, missed him. I might still have a crab. Drop a little more. There we go. That's a better one. Got a good one. Oh yeah, this dude, he's pulling some drag. My reels here are getting worn out. The drags on them have taken a beating from all the sheep head. And big drum I've caught on these. But the little low profile reels are still holding up. I really got the drag tightened like all the way down to. I had to thumb it so I'm gonna help it. Oh yeah, that's, whoo, that's a nice one. Come on, big boy. In there, in there, in there, in there, gotcha. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look, shit, losing my crap. That one, right there. Yeah, 20, 25 feet. Look at that, y'all. Now, how in the world did I catch that fish with that hook like that? Just did get you by the hair of the lip, didn't I, buddy? Good lay. Got some tough lips. My damn crabs keep falling in the water. What the hell? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to drown you. Y'all keep falling in the water for That is a fat sheepy right there. Look at that dude. That's a big boy. Too big to keep. Definitely ain't keeping him. Beautiful fish. Thank you, man. That was a good fight. I would always think it's better to know. I, I would rather know and then know I'm not doing so. See, I would th I'd throw a piece of blue crab on versus a, you know. Can you see your bait? You know what? I'm having a hard time seeing it. So no, not really. Well, I think it's blending in with the side of the piling because I'm right there on the side of the piling. Yeah. I think it's kind of blending in with it. There's definitely a cluster between right about 27 feet on this one. Right in the middle of them. I know you're there. Eat my crab. Yep, there you go. <clears throat> yeah, it's cheating. It's cheating. Oh lord, I think he's got me wrapped. I feel like I'm wrapped. Where am I wrapped? Yeah, he's got me hung. I didn't get away from the piling quick. He was deep. He was 30 feet. That's a big one, too. Yeah, folks, I might end up losing this guy. I didn't get away from the piling quick enough. I'm surprised he ain't broke me off. See if I can get some angle on it. Get him. I think I might have got it. Yep, I got him free. Sweet. I was gonna lose it. Come on up here. Holy hello.
Oh, oh, oh. Where are you at? Now you hung in my drive. Are you serious? Crap. Tons of complications. What the heck are you hung on? Are you hung on something? How in the world? I cannot believe I haven't lost this fish. I hope I got all that. That was crazy. Once again, barely hooked. Y'all got some tough lips. We gotta get you back in order quickly here. And he is now closed. 24 and three quarters. 24 and three quarters, that's a citation, guys. I imagine how much that thing weighs. Look at that beast. Man, that is amazing. Alright buddy, you ready? You ready? You good. Don't go belly up on me. There you go. See you, man. Well y'all, it's the end of another day here in the bay. Uh, amazingly calm conditions, odd current situation where the incoming tide was almost non-existent. We got on a good bite first thing this morning. Each of us got some really nice sheep head. I got two that were pretty much citation size. Jim got a citation. Yogi did as well. So we all got some monster sheep heads out here. So it was a good trip on the bay. I had a blast. And I can say that I am beat. I'm out of shape from being in that boat. And that beach is still quite a ways away. So I'll meet up with the guys there. Hit on in all today. Thanks for watching. Peace out, y'all.